Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to What's Damage and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit complicated. It is gonna be a very heavily opinionated video that's gonna be taken a lot into consideration, my own personal opinions, you know, regarding something that I normally don't talk about because it makes me really angry, it makes me very, very, very angry. I get so peeved at this, you know, but at the same time I love it so much, okay? I'm gonna talk about art, but not exactly like uh, art in general, but sort of of like the traditional styles of paintings you know that kind of thing you know and also a uh, kind of like a generalized sense of what it is to uh, to analyze the classical I don't know what I'm saying look I'm just gonna be talking about art in general okay and what I consider as an artist myself I know that art is a very very dynamic thing and it's also extremely subjective you know so sometimes for example something that I might look at and think is really really beautiful somebody might think is really ugly and vice versa you know I, I, do, I do admit that I have this habit but I think everybody does you know we always have to try really hard to respect other people's opinions but at the same time I understand that sometimes it can be a little difficult you know it can be a little hard when we have a very strong opinion about something you know but hey that's this is how it is man you know it's uh you always have to keep an open mind so that's what I'm gonna be trying to do in this video here but as you guys will see my opinions are a little different okay so here's the thing now uh, art, I think, is probably the most subjective thing on the planet, you know? We're talking about literature, cinema, music, you know, uh, physical, visual art, you know, digital art. Everybody likes something, you know? Sometimes we, for example, there's a YouTuber who you just don't like and you can't find them as entertaining, but they have millions of subscribers, get millions of views, you know? So somehow people are liking what they do, you know? The same way that not everybody likes the same YouTuber that you might watch, okay? But art is complicated. What I want to try to talk about are those really old style um, art paintings you know because we know that in the artistic world uh, a name goes a lot further than just talent you know Leonardo da Vinci for example created the Mona Lisa you know he also painted the Sistine Chapel he did a few th he, he did paint the Sistine Chapel right was that Leonardo da Vinci or was it uh wait hold on a second no I don't think it was da Vinci what was the guy's name uh Michelangelo right I think it was Michelangelo. Okay, if, one, if, if what I said is wrong, I think it's Michelangelo. If it's wrong, I'm gonna fix it in post. But anyway, so uh, anyway, sometimes an artist will make one very specific thing and go their entire lives not doing anything else. I'm not saying that that's what happened here, but sometimes it will happen, you know? Leonardo da Vinci is obviously most known for the Mona Lisa than anything else he's ever created in his career, you know? So, I mean, sometimes the name itself already sells the artist, you know? So, sometimes an artist with a very, very, uh, very popular and strong name, whatever the hell they make is immediately going to become popular and very admired and everybody's gonna love it, you know? Even if it's stupid as hell. Like, for example, imagine if Leonardo da Vinci was still alive today and he walks into a museum with like a blank wall and paints like a freaking red dot in the middle of it. All of a sudden that entire wall is gonna be worth more than the country that it got painted in you know this is what I think is stupid because I understand that like you, you okay it's Leonardo da Vinci okay but he's just a guy he's not a freaking god an entity who's going to paint a dot on a wall and it's going to give you eternal life you know we're not talking about the fountain of youth here okay so I've always thought that this was really stupid because like we see a uh, very good examples of this today like with modern-day celebrities you know they can spit into a freaking cup and sell that for like a, a ten thousand bucks you know and there's always gonna be some crazy lunatic who's gonna buy it you know it's the same thing with art who the hell is calling me go away I'm talking about art so um uh, the same way that artists can sometimes do really dumb things in my opinion there will always be dumb fans of that artist to support what they're doing and continue to finance it you know which to me is just egregious as hell all right, so here's the thing. Let's say, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, who, who's a really famous artist besides the ones that I said? There was this guy called Vincent Van Gogh. I don't think his first name was Vincent, something Van Gogh. Okay, look, I don't have the patience to remember, but just, just, just think of a really famous artist, okay? They go ahead and they paint something. They take a blank canvas, okay? And they just like make a few smudges on it with their paintbrush, you know? There's no meaning, there's no sense, there's no dexterity. It's just a bunch of stupid smudges that he probably, he probably did for no reason at all, you know? Just to see what the hell would Happen. he does that and then because he has a really he's a really famous artist with a very strong name all of a sudden that piece is gonna be worth like hundreds or even thousands or tens of thousands of dollars you know or even millions like dude 
it really doesn't make sense. Like, uh, I understand that art is subjective, you know? Maybe somebody will look at that and see a whole different thing, but it's just a bunch of stupid smudges on a blank piece of paper, dude. I mean, seriously? Like, one of the things that I've seen uh, recently uh, was that Elvis Presley's underwear was actually uh, at a museum being auctioned or something, you know, where you can actually buy it today. And it's like, dude, it's the guy's used underwear. You can see that it's yellow. You know, it's gross as hell. Like, what the f***? <laughs> My God. I really don't understand how the hell somebody... <laughs> Sorry, I, I was, I was like, visualizing it, man. It's like freaking... <laughs> Elvis wasn't exactly a clean fellow, was he? You know, and somehow, for some reason, that underwear is worth so much money. It's not like Michael Jackson's sequin glove, okay? I can actually understand that being worth a lot of money, you know? But still, I mean, guys, I really don't understand it. Why the hell do you treat celebrities and artists like they're like freaking uh, supernatural entities of divine energy or something, you know? They're just people. Yeah, they have a lot of money, but they're just people. I talked about this in that video uh, where I talked about you sh how you should leave celebrities alone. Go watch that after this one it's a it's a it's a good follow-up to this video here you know but dude it really does not make sense because justin bieber for example puts on a t-shirt wears it for like an hour and then he takes it off and suddenly that thing is worth a million bucks it's just a stupid ass shirt man i mean what the hell you can buy the the exact same shirt for a lot cheaper at the same place he bought the damn shirt it doesn't make any sense at all like y'all are getting way too obsessive with these things man you know i mean seriously like i get it like you you, like, you might see like a a black X on a white canvas and think that this is art, okay? I don't know, man. Maybe you look at that X and you see the strong symbolism of life becoming the external, the supernatural, the universe, and the galaxy. But go screw yourself, man. It's just a stupid black X on a white canvas, man. That's not art, dude. I mean, really. I don't get it, man. I mean, and then again, YouTube is the same thing, you know? It's like, there are people who make like really short, dumb ass videos and get millions of views, you know? And everybody somehow likes it, you know? It's not art, man. It's just you doing stupid short crap to get views, you know? But maybe I'm just sour because I do much longer and creative videos. I put work into them and I don't get any views at all. But maybe I'm just sour, I'm, I'm biased because of that. But the point is that art kind of irritates me. I love it, you know? I consume art a lot. I have uh, grown out of the habit of going to museums because I, I lost the patience for that you know and uh, here in Brazil like uh, the art doesn't really you know capture my attention too much you know but I used to go to museums a long time ago and it just doesn't really interest me too much you know but depending on the painting that I see it, it's a very good I like to see photography if I could go to a museum of photos instead of paintings I would love that you know to see different photos and stuff you know I do work with photographers outside of YouTube so that would actually be really cool but I still think that it's it's a little complicated because Respecting other people's opinions in this aspect is hard. I know I'm supposed to, you know, the only obligation we have is to, you know, respect people's opinions, you know, but man, is it hard sometimes, especially when it comes to art. All right, all right, I know, I know what some of you are saying right now, okay? There are some of you who actually do enjoy uh, visual art that are probably saying, well, it's because you don't have a very artistic eye or, or, or artistic brain or whatever. Look, I record videos for YouTube, buddy, okay? And I used to be a musician, I used to write songs, you know? So I can guarantee you that I am much more artistic than you right now watching this video, okay? If you're one of those douches who think that you can judge anyone for just because I have a different uh, taste in you, which is not what I'm doing, okay? Let me explain. It's not that I am like judging people and saying that it's wrong. I'm saying that it's stupid. It's different. I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. You know, if you think something is right, by all means, go ahead and do it. If you think something is wrong, by all means, go ahead and don't do it, okay? But I will judge you as being an idiot or not, okay? I can say that you're smart or you're stupid. And I think that if you value art as being something very expensive, you are very dumb. Okay, I mean, it, it depends on the art. If it's like the Mona Lisa, I can understand that it is one of the most expensive items in the world. I did a video talking about the Mona Lisa some time ago, you know, so how it got stolen once. And it's really, I understand how something like this can be worth a lot of money, you know? I understand how certain works of art are actually very, very, very valuable, like the Scream, which is very crappy, but then again, for some reason, it is very, very, uh, admirable in the artistic world, you know, because it was painted a long time ago. So I understand that th there are certain art pieces that are very, very valuable because they do represent something, you know, but you can't compare something like the Mona Lisa, which looks freaking lifelike, you know, it looks amazing, like it was done like in uh, by a modern day a computer or something. You can't compare that to like a something dumb, like a, a blank, uh, a rectangular canvas with a bunch of uh, smudges on it, you know, like color splashes. How the hell is this art, man? It's like the guy takes a bunch of different paint buckets 
pockets and throws them on the on the canvas and just lets it dry and puts it on display and suddenly it's worth millions of dollars. How? Like explain to me how. If you happen, to, I, I think it's really hard for this to happen. But if you are a, a famous art collector, a millionaire art collector, you know, and you happen to have one of these crappy paintings in your house and you paid money for it, tell me why. Like somebody, please explain to me in the comments below the the the, the logic behind spending money on things like this. You know, I really just don't understand it, man. Okay. If I had enough money to spend on art, I wouldn't. Like, uh, like what the hell? Like I can buy, like for example, uh, I could buy the Mona Lisa for however millions of bucks it costs. You know, or I can buy a replica of the Mona Lisa for like I don't know 10 bucks at the supermarket. You know, like do they sell paintings in supermarkets? I don't think they do. Here in Brazil they do, but I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. But uh, yeah, I can like like I actually have a few uh, some paintings around my house. You know, but like they're they're very simple. You know, I like to put up paintings that just reflect very simply. Uh, I don't know something that I like. You know. I could put up a painting in my kitchen of like a basket of fruits or something, you know, or in my bedroom I could put a, maybe a painting of a bird or something, you know, in my living room I could put up paintings of, uh, I don't know, nature. I like paintings, I really do. I just don't understand why I have to, uh, to go out of my way to buy something so expensive, you know. But anyway, I, I have two paintings here on either side of my of my uh, my TV thing that were actually custom made by an artist who's actually an asshole. I will not divulge him at all here. He can go screw himself. But at the time, you know, it's actually, I kind of regret buying them because they were pretty expensive you know and if I had known he was such a goddamn douche and I probably wouldn't have given him any of any of my money but still uh, it, I will never do that again I will always buy much cheaper because at the end of the day it's just about decorating you know like the paintings don't really have to tell stories you know unless you want them to but to me it's just about good interior decorating I just want my place to look a little better you know when people come over and see my stuff but yeah I guess that's it that's all I can say about this guys um, yeah, let me know your opinions down in the comments below, okay? What you think about the subjectiveness of art in general. And uh, if you are subjective to uh, those really crazy artworks that to me are very minimalist, that don't show anything, tell me what you think about those, you know? Let me know your opinions down in the comments below because I'm really curious to know, okay? To see what you got, what your guys' opinions are, okay? And that's it for now, okay? <sighs> gotta take a breather here for the next one. This is Chazzy. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you happen to like this video, or even if you don't like my opinion, if you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. I don't really care. It's gonna help the video grow anyway. As long as you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to know exactly what time I upload because I upload videos every single day at random times of the day, sometimes multiple videos per day, okay? So that's it for now, guys. This is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the outro skate.